Hey you guys, I'm just checking in. Uh, normally I would repeat my intro, but this was an insanely long shopping trip. So just so you guys know, I'm here for a long time. Probably the longest I've been at any antique mall ever. I also bought a ton of stuff and it's pretty epic. So let's go in. All right, next up, got the hobnail milk glass again, $15 and 30%. That might be worth uh, doing the math on that for it. Uh, what? Ooh, beaded little pot of flowers, 23 though. I'm not sure how much more I can get out of that. I'm gonna have to do the math on that. Hold on, I'm just gonna do it that now. So that comes to $10.50. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that one. This one comes to $16 now. I believe I could still make money off this. And I know there's somebody who, um, at least a couple of people who have messaged me saying they collect these. I think they're so neat. $16 is definitely more than I wanna have in it. I'm gonna keep kind of looking around um, and, uh, see what else they have here because there's a lot obviously like i'm sure we're now looking at this 18 dollars custard glass sign too hold up whoa wait see there's a lot happening like i said look at this giant table lighter is that say 19 dollars lucite oh my gosh this is a must. So it comes to $13 and 30 cents. Uh, it's not locked up. And the fact is I've never seen one anywhere near this size. So I'm gonna grab that. So I know it's kind of knocking on the beaded flowers that were $16 and 10 cents after the discount. But this is a definite first for me. Speaking of never seeing that size before, check out these giant wood salt and pepper shakers made in Japan. These are epic. Now, we usually see them in the little souvenir ones. Um, I also picked up a set of magnetic cat ones that got a little wear around the edge of the salt. But $16.10 after the discount is a no-brainer for me. I've never seen anything like this, especially as a salt and pepper enthusiast <laughs> enthusiast i'm like so excited i can't even talk straight i also really need a coffee i have to pick these up now here's another thing that i'm really in love with but i'm not buying it because i refuse to ship this i don't even want to pick it up it's probably 20 pounds oh it's actually not as heavy as i thought it was but this mid-century starburst pink cut glass decanter is epic 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 if it was less expensive i would ship it but at that price, I'm just gonna let it sit. It would cost me a fortune to uh, pack that up the way I would feel comfortable. Now, this would come to $13. I am gonna go ahead and say this probably glows. I'm gonna look it up just in case because I'm about to hit 300, not that that matters, but I'm still, you know what I'm about to say, barely halfway, not even halfway through. Yeah, so it comes to $13 after the discount. I know I could still make money on it, but I'm not as crazy as I should be for that price. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. But then I see these amber glass salt and pepper shakers and they're only $5.60 after the discount. So I feel like I have to pick those up. Oh no, I totally missed it. There was another one of these booths. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend the entire day here. I'm gonna run out of energy. <laughs> What's happening here? That's really pretty. With dish. That's a nice little set. Hmm. That trinket box. I'm in love. Um, I've bought and sold vases like that before and they sold well for me. I didn't really know what it was when I sold it, which is probably why it sold so quick. It was worth a lot more than I sold it for this perfume bottle is what really caught my attention though. Still, it's a little bit more than I'd like to spend. I'm at $293 and I'm barely halfway through. Uh, I only plan on going to two more places after this, which helps, but still it's a lot to front for me. Ooh, what's the monkey though? 15. Mm. He's got a big chip. Otherwise I totally would. I love that. Does this have it? Oh, dang, that doesn't, I don't see the mate to that salt and pepper shaker. That is neat. It's a really large size. 
anything like oversized or miniature, just like super exaggerated, I'm a big fan of. And this, it's a mat is it a mattress holder and ashtray? It's part of a smoking set, it looks like. Yeah, $33 and 30%, totally fair for a collector, but it's missing too much for me to uh, pick that up at that price. You know, I'm cheap, but like I said, I got a lot going on in there. I am officially, I know that base is epic. I'm officially stepping away from this booth. Everything's starting to look the same. I've been here for a really long time, so I'm gonna move on here. All right, I dropped off the rest of my stuff. My basket was too heavy to carry. I'm in love with the Bust 45 Firm. That's so reasonable. I don't need it. It's so epic though. Oh, okay. Well, not to sound like a spoiled brat, but these post dolls are $3 each. And I normally wouldn't pick them up, but for $3 each, I can't not. So, thank you. Let's start grabbing them. Wow, this one's a music box? Wait, stop. All right, so she doesn't really work, but still, their faces are so clean. Let's see, does this one work? No. So, we can still make money off them, though. Oh my gosh, I love her. Oh, what a fun dress. And of course, the one in pink. So actually, I'm pretty sure all the dolls are $3. This is a lot more than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my gosh. Wait, stop. Look at this. Okay, the clown hanging lamp, epic. What about that tiger? The lamp, kid's lamp. Oh my gosh, how much is that? That's so amazing. I can't even tell you how much this was. I just, how many there are, I should say. Uh, this is $41, <laughs> which is insane. I'm really just, I'm on one right now. All right, I'm back. I offloaded the basket again. Over $10 not on those. Um, I am really losing steam. I finally broke 300. I filled up like four or five, six baskets. I <laughs> I've honestly lost count, but there's still more to be seen. So, ooh. What? Oh my God gosh i kind of love this i did look it up because i love a good risque weird mug but there was a lot online and they were all around that amount so about this phase 18 it's really pretty it's definitely new but kind of like it anyway um what is this oh they're candle holders now i know i'm getting out of it it's really not my thing now, I'm not a big glass shoe person, but this Tiffany blue one with the animal on it, very interesting. It's only $7, so I think I'm gonna get that just because of its unique color. Uh, let's see, what about this? They're all $7. Oh no, kind of like the Amberina one too. All right, so I'm gonna get the uh, Tiffany blue one, the Amberina, and the hand-painted one, because it would be kind of crazy not to. And I do see a little Bovano flower. Wow, that is fantastic. I love that. I never really see them in the pot like that. $28, though. Can't really do anything with that. And look at this little, oh my gosh, it's got the spoon even. And I love the little, love the little lovebirds. That is so sweet. What is that, taped? Yeah, it's taped. Just making sure it's not cracked because it's only five dollars. Yep, five dollars with the spoon, little lovebirds. I'm gonna go ahead and get that. That's very sweet, and I really like this too. Gold tone. I feel like I've had that before. I feel like I had it in a box, a box style. I mean, like a chunk of box. So before I do the rest of the antique mall, and yes, there is more, I'm gonna go back to that booth over here that I kind of cleaned up that they were restocking. <laughs>